is my pleasure to welcome you to the Visual Arts and Technology Exhibition for 2020. Every year we look forward to this exhibition in the school calendar. This year in particular, I am extremely proud of what the students have achieved in studio arts, VCD, media and product design. Despite all the challenges this year, it is incredible to see what the students have produced. I look around and I am just amazed by the diversity and the quality of the work. Um, creating art is, is about you. It's your interests, your passions, and is, it's not an easy task. The students have worked really hard on their projects over the past few months and have produced some fantastic work across a range of mediums. Each work is unique, intriguing, and in many ways, very exciting to look at. Congratulations to all the students who is part of this exhibition. You have done really well and you should be very proud of your achievements. The creation of the work would not be possible without the care and guidance of their teachers. Thank you to all the teachers involved for your dedication and hard work. A huge thank you also go to the art assistants who helped immensely working around the practical challenges with COVID. What you see on display is only a small glimpse of the demands of our subjects. There is a folio component with many pages, hundreds of pages, thousands of words, too many hours to count. This year, more than ever, I am so impressed with the students' persistence and their commitment to their creativity. They did not give up, so well done. And for parents at home who can't come on site, there is a virtual format coming up with this exhibition where you will be able to view and interact with the work online. This year, our guest speaker is a past student, Jared Pasela, who was selected in Top Arts in 2018. Hello, my name is Jared Pasela, and I'm a 2018 graduate of Hillcrest Christian College, a former student of VC Studio Arts, and also a successful candidate of the 2019 Top Arts exhibition held by the National Gallery of Victoria. First of all, I would like to extend my welcome to you to this year's VC Art and Technology Exhibition Opening Night. It is an honour and pleasure to be able to be the guest speaker for this exhibition. As a previous student of VCC Studio Arts, I experienced firsthand the strenuous effort necessary to plan and produce quality works. I vividly remember how difficult the journey was from the beginning of the year where I was discovering conceptual possibilities I could undertake for my finished piece to the end of the year with my fully developed portfolio and artworks. This, coupled with the demands of my other subjects, proved a very challenging time. Uh, without a doubt, I would not have been able to achieve the works I produced without the constant support from my teachers and peers, and I express my deepest thanks for their contribution to what I was able to achieve. My selected artwork for the 2019 Top Arts Exhibition, Maintain the War, was an ink illustration highlighting a juxtaposition between traditional and modern Japanese culture. From the first steps of my portfolio with collecting um, photographs and noting sources of inspiration to the creation of my final work, I gradually refined my techniques in the watercolour and ink mediums and deepened my understanding of the importance of culture and traditions. These days, I'm a second year Bachelor of Biomedical Science student at Deakin University, with next year being my final year of the degree. I'm continuing to develop my art skills and have also gained a recent interest in digital mediums of art in combination with my well custom ink illustrations. With the global pandemic and all the hardships across the world, this year has definitely not been the most pleasant introduction to a new decade. However, I am truly inspired by the diligence and hard work of this year's Hillcrest students, especially students in the visual arts. I remember how nervous I was during these times with the upcoming exams and constant anxiety of life after school. However, life is not just about getting good grades and getting your dream ATAR. There is so much more to this adventure we call life, and it's up to us to shape the world for future generations. Ultimately, I hope the visual arts students of 2020 feel encouraged by my words. I congratulate them on the beautiful pieces they created, and I pray for success in their future endeavours. I trust family and friends will enjoy tonight's exhibition, and I want to express my deepest thanks to all of you for listening. The exhibition is now officially opened. There is also a Principal's Award to be given out, and there is also a People's Choice Award where you, the public, can vote for your personal favourite work. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Christine Lucas, our Acting Head of College, who will be presenting our Principal's Award next. 
Hi everyone, I'm Christine Lucas. I'm Acting Head of College at Hillcrest Christian College and I've got the honour today of looking at the art uh, for in the uh, Hillcrest Art Exhibition and choosing one piece of art to give it a Principal's Award to and it's a really tough job because the art in this exhibition is outstanding and I've spent a long time this morning going around looking at the art, reading your explanations behind your pieces and it's uh, very moving uh, and it's very humbling to think that we've got young people at our college who are so talented and who have persisted in this really challenging year to produce really meaningful pieces of art. It's, it's just fantastic and can I encourage anyone to come and look online at, at the art that, uh, that is on show. It's just brilliant. So I'm going to just walk around uh, some of the pieces that really stood out for me but it's all amazing and all worth looking at. So the first one I want to talk to you about is Bell's. Uh, Bell's photographs uh, just capture this beautiful image of her sister and it's really hard uh, to look at these photos and not stop and be caught up and wonder. Uh, there is something so expressive in uh, what Belle has captured here and it really stops me in my tracks every time I've come past. So well done Belle, just really moving uh, art. The other one I want to talk to you about is over here. So it's Josh's work. Actually Josh has got two pieces of work in this exhibition. This, uh, he's used this medium here and then Josh has also done a short video clip and I encourage you to watch that short video clip. Josh is obviously an incredibly talented artist and uh, both pieces of art, both pieces in the exhibition from Josh are just really uh, mesmerising. So, you know, this, is, this usable art that he's created here is, is quite wonderful. But his clip as well, a uh, clip that goes with a, a really catchy song uh, that's probably going to be an earworm for me today is, is just great, really great composition and uh, great storytelling, some clever pieces of, of work within that clip. So well done Josh on both pieces, really incredible. And while I'm talking about the uh, clips, I encourage you to look at Victor's as well. I was spellbound by Victor's clip. Not only does he tell a great and engaging story, but the composition and, and uh, the way he's framed his shots, is uh, it's incredible to think that this is a person who's still at school. It's really up there with some of uh, some really thoughtful, um, incredibly moving uh, in terms of it, it gets you into the story really well. So uh, take a few moments to watch Victor's clip. It's extraordinary. Uh, a young man, I think, that's going to go places with his with his art. Just just fantastic. Okay, the other art that really captured me uh, today is by Tracy. And what I really uh, noticed and admired about Tracy's work is she wants to capture the uh, and draw our attention to the beauty of the minutia of life. And she's done that really well here. And in fact, uh, her, her little explanation of the media piece here is that she wanted to capture the essence and the beauty of the of minutia moments of life. And I think that's part of the challenge of life is remembering to stop and notice just how blessed we are. So well done Tracy, fantastic piece of work. So really tough choice deciding who I'm going to give the Principal's Award to. I wish I had five or six awards to give but uh, your teacher tells me I'm only allowed one. So I'm going to give that, that award to the piece of art that moved me uh, strongly today. And so I, I have this uh, shorthand for what, what is art, that art, art is something that helps me to see my world differently. And the artwork that Lily has created really did that for me today. So not only am I taken by the amount of work that Lily has put, put into her piece, the intricacy of her design work, but I'm also aware that Lily had to fire um, part of her uh, piece today using maintenance guys to come back on. So she was really dedicated to the medium that she wanted to use. But it's the story that this art work tells for me, uh, tells that really moves me and moved me quite deeply today. And uh, Lily, well done. You've um, shown incredible 
commitment to your art during this lockdown year and you're also telling a story that I think is really important and, uh, and really helped me to think about the world in a really different way and reminded me of God's presence in our lives. So well done Lily. It's a real honour to um, present to you the Principal's Award. I'm um, really impressed with the entire art show. I think all of you, Year 12s and Year 11s, have done an incredible job under incredible conditions this year. And it is just a real privilege to know that we are blessed with such talented young people at Hillcrest. Well done, everyone. And please, if you're watching this, please make time to watch the entire exhibition online. It is incredible. God bless. See you soon.